Hello friends. My name is Rafi Yakub from Excel Graphics and Multimedia. In today's video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Showbeta 2 in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. Showbeta 2 in Adobe Illustrator is one of the important tools that you cannot do without it, whether you are making a logo or you want to make a design in Adobe Illustrator. So I will try to demonstrate how it works with between the how you can combine the shape together with your shape builder tool, how you can cut out some shape with your shape builder tool. So let's jump into the tutorial and start with some of our shape here. I'll go to my tools bar, then I, I can right click on it and select my circle. So I can just add a stroke color here, a stroke color to be black. Then I can increase the width. Okay. Then I can come to the work area and draw my circle. All right. So having drawn a circle here, I can duplicate it again and make something like this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is that I'm, I'll go to my tools bar. I want to unfill the color, unfill the shape. Then I'm going to unfill this also. I'm going to unfill this. Now what I'm going to do next is that I will select everything here. So I will select everything. Now we make use of our shape builder tool. So I'll go to my tools bar and grab my shape builder tools. Now the first thing I want to do, I want to cut out some shape from this point here. So what I'm going to do is to press alternative key on my keyboard. When you press alternative key on your keyboard, you make you you notice that there will there is going to be a minus sign from your mouse. Then I'm going to cut out like this. Good. Then I'll come here also. I'm going to cut this again. Good. So this is how you make a shape with your show builder tool. Now you can go to your menu bar, apply color to the shape. So you can use any color. You can use any color of your choice, depends on. Then you can remo remove the stroke color now. Now you have a shape like this. So let me quickly delete this and look for another where we can use our shape builder too. So I'll go back to my shape and right click on it. In this case, now I'm going to make use of my rectangle. Then I'll make my rectangle here. And I'll drop it down here. I'll go back to my tools bar again, right click on it. I'm going to make use of my polygon tools. Then I'll click once to my then I'll make sure I tap three here, I'll click on OK. Then I can change this color to red. OK. So one other thing I can do here is that I need to take it down here. So I can press shift on my alternative key on my keyboard. I can expand it. right then i can select everything again i'll go back to my tools bar and select my show builder tools now what i need here i need this shape to be cut out i'm still going to press alternative key on my keyboard so when you press this you're going to notice a minus simply means you want to make a cut so i'm going to cut this place away Good. So I can move in this shape with my arrow key. So one other thing I can do here is that I can select everything again. Or better say I can select the top shape and grab my shape builder to the direct selection part. Then I can make a curve, something like this. Good. So one other thing I can do here is that I 
you can come down here and change this to whatever color I like and change it to black and I can make another shape I click on this and make another rectangle or better still I can go to edit copy edit I can go to paste in place then I can resize this shift key alternative key and drag in so I can fill the shape with white then I can apply stroke color to the red so I can increase the stroke width so something like six okay now the next thing I can do here is I can go to objects then parts I'll go to my split into grid and I can come here I increase the number to four I can click on my preview to see what is going on here oh, sorry and I'll increase this to two or so and I can click on OK good so you can see we make a cool house in uh, adobe illustrator so one other thing we can do here is that we can as well make a shape here make another shape here better still we can duplicate this edit we can copy and edit again we click on paste in place good then we can shift key and alternative key and drag this in good and you can take it down now we can press shift key on our keyboard and click on the first shape then our shape beta 2 again then we can come down here and press our alternative key and make a cut good then we can select our shape here to z shift key and alternative key we can string key then we position it here then we can select everything like this and uh, we can select the shape here then we select our direct selection part then at this point here, you can just press down the shift key on our keyboard and click on this point here. You can just make a, a simple cuff here and here also. I'm sorry, to Z. I make a simple cuff here also. And we can just select everything. Uh, click on object and click on group so we can drag this one here so one other thing we can do with our shape builder tool is that we can just select our paint tools now we want to make a design so do something like this like this like this uh, something like this something like this something like this like this okay so you want to make and um, put this to the middle then you want to make a cut out from this edge here so from this edge here you want to make a cut out then from this edge also you want to make a cut out so all you have to do is to click on your rectangle then you go to your fill make sure you fill it I'm sorry Make sure you fill it. You can ask your uh, stroke to the red. Now I'm going to draw something like this. 
and make sure it's mapped to the shape. All right, so you can press shift key on your keyboard to select everything like this. What you have to do next is to go to your toolbar, select your shape reader tool, then press down the alternative key and drag. You're going to cut it away. So you can do the same thing here again. And you press shift key and select the stuff. Then you go and grab your shape reader tool. And you press down your hotkey and call it out. So you have this stuff cut again. Now, one other thing you can do with your shape sh reader tool is uh, you right click and grab your circle. You can just draw your circle like this. All right. So you can make a copy, uh, duplicate it like this. Then you can select everything and Grab your shape reader tool. In this case, now you don't need to press and control whatsoever, just dragging. So you're going to have something like this. So, one other thing you can do is you right click on it, you can make a rectangle. Then right click again. You can make a make a star, you can make a triangle. Sorry. And take it to the top like this. Then you can select everything. Your alignment panel, uh, align it. And you can select everything and finally grab your shape with that tool click on it and you can connect it together now you can go to your tools bar i mean your menu bar and change the color to whatever you like again you have everything in place so i hope you are enjoying this video if you like my video don't forget to hit like button and also remember to subscribe for my more interesting video in adobe illustrator thank you for watching from the beginning to the end see you soon bye